desiring a new pillow for winter, so let's get cozy with an argyle one. Because I am rotating colors of the diamonds next to each other, I created a little template out of vinyl so I could contain the color exactly where I want it to go. So I'm loading the brush and then offloading most of the paint so I get kind of a dry brush effect. Then I know I'm ready to stencil. I'm now adding my second color, but you may have noticed that I'm not tapping the brush, but instead I'm rubbing the paint on. This takes a little bit of trial and error depending on your fabric. This is very nubby and textured, so I find I'm getting a more even coverage by doing this method. This turned out really cute, exactly what I wanted. So next up are the little lines that go over top. They are easy to align by using the registration marks. They're cut out diamonds on the stencil. You align them against two painted diamonds and you're positioned and ready to go. So I knew this pattern would fit really nicely if I move the diamonds up. So I kind of pre-measured all that. And to repeat, I'm just going to align the last diamonds and keep going. 